Why you should never give out your used wigs personal belongings to anyone without praying. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, thank you for your constant love and support towards the growth of the channel. May God continue to bless you in Jesus name. I know that so many people are fond of sharing their personal belongings with people around them and sometimes they even give out the belongings to strangers, yes, know that giving is good and sharing is a way of showing love towards one another. But in this video, I will be showing you why you should not give out your used personal belongings especially your wig to anyone. Watch this video till the end for a better understanding. This restaurant looks so cool. I think I like it here. Yes, and they sell good food too. That is the most important thing. Let's order. Okay. Good evening, ladies. What can I get for you tonight? We'll have the pasta primavera and a bottle of wine, please. Yes, that sounds great. Okay. Emily, check him out. Look at that guy walking in. Whoa, he's quite the catch. I mean, seriously, he's like a dreamboat. Look at that shirt. And those shoes, oh my. You seem smitten already. Maybe just a little. I just have this feeling, you know. I wish he'd notice me. I wish he'd come over and say hi. You're hopeless, Lisa. But who knows? Maybe fate has a surprise in store for you tonight. Emily, there he is again. And he's heading our way. Oh gosh. Hi there, I hope you don't mind me interrupting. I couldn't help but notice you from across the room. I'm Frank. Hi, Frank. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, Emily. I was wondering if I could have the honor of getting to know you better. Perhaps over a cup of coffee sometime? Could I have your phone number? Go on, Emily. Seize the moment. Sure, Frank. Here's my number. Thank you, Emily. I'll be sure to give you a call. It was lovely meeting you both. You did it, Emily. Who knows what this could lead to. I can't believe I just did that. I thought you were eyeing him at first. Yes I was, but that doesn't mean I wanted him. I was just admiring a fine man. You got it babe. Emily, these past two weeks have been incredible. Every moment I've spent with you has been filled with laughter and joy. I feel the same way, Frank. Being with you just feels right. Emily, I've thought a lot about us, and I can't shake the feeling that you're someone truly special. I don't want to rush things, but I also don't want to hide how I feel any longer. What are you trying to say, Frank? Emily, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want to officially be together to share our lives and experiences, and to continue building something beautiful together. Will you be my girlfriend? Yes, Frank, I would love to be your girlfriend. I can't imagine anything I'd want more. You've made me the happiest man alive, Emily. I promise to cherish you in our relationship always. Thank you. So, spill the beans, Emily. How was your latest date with Frank? Oh, Lisa, it was absolutely wonderful. We went out for dinner, and he surprised me by asking me to be his girlfriend. That's amazing news. I'm so happy for you, Emily. Frank seems like a real catch. He really is. And he's been so sweet and thoughtful since then. He's even planning a couple's vacation for us. Wow, he's really pulling out all the stops, isn't he? He is. And there's more. He wants me to meet his parents. That's a big step. Are you nervous? A little bit. But I'm also really excited. I feel like things are moving in such a positive direction with Frank. You've got this, Emily. Just be yourself, and I'm sure his parents will love you just as much as we do. Thanks, Lisa. I really appreciate your support. What are friends for? I'll just get back to my office. See you later. Okay. 
It's just not fair. I was the one who noticed Frank first, who felt that instant attraction. And now Emily's the one who's enjoying all the love and attention from him. Why does she get to have everything? It's always been like this, she gets the attention, the opportunities, and now, even the guy the first was interested in. What does she have that I don't? Why does she always get the happy ending while I'm left feeling like second best? I won't stand by and let Emily have everything. Frank may be hers for now, but I won't rest until he's mine. I'll do whatever it takes to win Frank's affection. I'll be more charming, more attentive, I'll make sure he sees me as the one he truly desires. Welcome, child. What brings you to seek the guidance of the spirits? I, I need help. There's this guy I'm interested in, but my friend Emily is dating him. I don't want to hurt her, but I also want him for myself. I see. Love can be a complicated and powerful force. What is it that you seek from the spirits? I want Frank to be mine, but I can't bear the thought of harming Emily. Is there anything you can do to make him see me in a different light, without hurting anyone? Manipulating the hearts of others is a delicate matter, my child. But I sense an alternative path that may lead to what you seek. I can perform a ritual to subtly influence Frank's feelings, guiding him away from Emily and Ta was you. However, I must warn you, such magic comes with consequences, both seen and unseen. I'll do whatever it takes to make Frank mine, as long as no harm comes to Emily. To enact the ritual you seek, I will require an item that holds a strong connection to your friend Emily. Something personal, imbued with her essence. A possession that she cherishes deeply. I understand, but what item would be suitable for the ritual? Something that holds significance to her, that she carries with her often. It need not be grand, but it must carry her essence. A lock of hair, a piece of clothing, or perhaps... Her wig will be a good one. Her wig, that's a deeply personal item. But if it's necessary to achieve my goal, understood. I'll bring the wig to you tomorrow, as you've asked. Please, do whatever you can to make Frank see me differently. Trust in the power of the spirits, child. What you seek may come with a price. Thank you, I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. Hey, Emily, can I talk to you for a moment? Of course, Lisa, what's up? Well, you know that wedding I mentioned over the weekend. Turns out, the wig I ordered to use for the wedding was delivered in the wrong color and I can't use it anymore. And I was wondering if I could borrow your beautiful long wig for the occasion. Of course, Lisa, I'd be happy to lend it to you. Just promise me you'll take good care of it, okay? Thanks, Emily. I really appreciate it. I promise I'll return it to you in perfect condition. You are welcome. That same evening, Emily gave Lisa one of her wigs, and Lisa took it to the spiritualist for the ritual, days later. So, Emily, about that trip abroad we've been talking about. Before Frank can continue, Emily's demeanor suddenly changes. She becomes agitated, her voice rising in volume, attracting the attention of nearby diners. Can't do this anymore. I can't handle it. <laughs> Emily, what's wrong? Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <laughs> it's all too much. I can't take the pressure anymore. Emily, you are creating a scene here. What's wrong with you? Emily, please. Let's talk about this calmly. I'm here for you, whatever you're going through. Oh no! This is serious. I have to take you home now. Oh no! What has come over you, Emily? Oh no! This is not happening. Lisa, I need to talk to you about what happened with Emily last night. She... She had some sort of breakdown during our date, and I don't know what to do. Oh, Frank, I'm so sorry to hear that. 
I hate to say this, but Emily has had struggles with her mental health in the past. It's something she's dealt with on and off, and, well, it runs in her family. I know it must have been difficult for you to witness. But please know that Emily is getting the help she needs, and she has a support system in place. Frank, I know this is difficult to hear, but Emily has been in and out of mental asylums before. It's something she's struggled with for a while. Mental asylums? I had no idea. How long has this been going on? It's been on and off for years. Her family has a history of mental illness too. Even her mother went through similar struggles. But, she's not that crazy though. Besides she has me by her side. And please, don't let her know I told you about her condition and family history. She doesn't like telling people. It's okay, no problem. I promise not to say a word of this to her. This is a very serious issue, I pray she gets help. I pray so too. This is just the beginning. Turn on your post notification and stay tuned to see what happens next. I don't want you to get me wrong, I am not trying to say you should not share your things with friends or family in need of it. Giving is a great virtue and even Jesus encourages us to give. But when it comes to your personal belongings, we have to be very careful giving it out to someone. Because they are person and sometimes attached to us spiritually. Especially whatever has to do with our head. Just as in the case of Emily. Because she has been wearing that wig on her head, they were able to use it to cause her madness. This things happens daily but so many people are not aware. The world is deeper than we can imagine. Please stop giving out your personal belongings to people and if you must make sure you pray over it and anoint it very well before giving it out. Stay tuned for the continuation part. It's going to be power packed. We'll see what finally happened to Frank and Emily's relationship, and also how Lisa pulled her evil plans and also I'll be showing you how you can restore whatever the devil has stolen from you in the past. And how you can posse's your possession. Kindly turn on your post notifications so that when the video drops, you will be notified immediately. Thank you for watching, please share this video out for more visibility. Also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. Thank you and God bless you.